London Fire, video from inside the blazing Grenfell Tower. Still missing, the mother who broadcast harrowing video from inside the burning tower lived to Facebook as she and her children waited desperately for help to arrive. A mother trapped on the 24th floor of the Grenfell Tower recorded a harrowing Facebook Live video as she and her two young children desperately tried to escape. Rania Ibram, 30, was in her flat when the raging fire engulfed the housing block in London in the early hours. In the distressing clip, she can be heard screaming for help as she tries to find a way out of the burning building. Her grief-stricken friends told Mail Online they were still anxiously waiting for news on Rania and her children, aged 3 and 5, who have not been seen since her phone cut out. Rania's friend Suhair Sharif, 55, who lives in Edgware Road, rushed to the scene following the disaster. She told Mail Online, Rania lived with her husband and children on the 24th floor. Her husband was in Egypt but he flew back as soon as he heard the news. Rania made it down to the floor below to my other friend's flat, but Rania, her two children and my friends on the 23rd floor are all still missing. In the video we just heard her saying oh my god, but she carried on filming despite the fire. We have not heard from her since the video ended. Mrs. Jury added, we didn't see any casualties coming out. It is as if they just left them in there to die. One man was told to stay in his flat by police but he refused and escaped with his wife and children. Rania also sent a heartbreaking Snapchat message to another friend at 2.45am in which she said in Arabic, Forgive me everyone, goodbye. In the video Rania, who is from Sudan, screams hello, hello come here as she ignores the advice of a friend and family members to keep her door closed. Residents are seen rushing through her door as they try to shelter from the smoke and flames of the inferno. The short clip then follows her outside to her flat's balcony as she is heard telling someone on her phone, the police are telling us to get out. The whole building is on fire and we're on the floor above. How are we going to get out? In one of the most chilling moments, her friend can be heard screaming to people outside, we are stuck on the 23rd floor. Hello? There's too many people stuck upstairs. Speaking to Good Morning Britain, another of Rania's distraught friends, named only as Yaz, said she had to watch her friend's devastating Snapchat video. She said, you can see she is trapped. She is praying and saying forgive me everyone, goodbye. While Rania remains missing, it is still not clear whether any of the other people trapped during the clip made it out of the tower block safely. Mrs. Sharif said her other friend Fathaya Alsnasi, who is in her 70s, was stuck in her 23rd floor flat with her son Abu Faris, 38, and daughter Azra Ibrahim, 35. All three are still missing. Twelve people have been confirmed dead and dozens missing in the wake of the devastating blaze in White City, West London. Twenty people are fighting for their lives in a critical condition with 78 people injured taken to six hospitals across London. A series of blunders are being blamed for the disaster with residents claiming there were no working fire alarms, no sprinklers and the only staircase leading to safety was blocked. A community leader working to locate victims, who asked not to be named, believes nobody who lived on the top three residential floors survived and the building that was home to 600 people could soon collapse. He said, we have a list of missing people, there are so many. It's possible there are more than 50, possibly hundreds. Those who managed to flee said it was like hell on earth inside as they scrambled over dead bodies in scenes akin to 9-11. 11.